Hey everyone, I want to take a quick look today at some carabiners and ways that we can know that they're safe, if they're not safe, and what we can do about that. So right now I have two DMM carabiners and then one uh, Petzl William. Uh, this is super old, I've had this carabiner pretty much my whole career. So a little different age uh, differences here. This one's brand new, this one's a little bit older, and then real old. So when we are using carabiners, we want to make sure when we unlock this thing, right? We're gonna pull up on the barrel, turn it, and when we open this gate, uh, we want it to snap right back closed and lock right up. So you wanna make sure that that barrel's turning and then locking, right? So obviously we're using these things for life support. We don't ever want them just to stick open because there could be a real easy chance of them opening up while we're climbing, it unclips us and we fall to the ground. That's the last thing we want. So again, we wanna make sure when we get these things nice and close, they snap right shut. So we'll take a look at this other DMM carabiner. Um, so this one, when I open it and when I close it, look at that, it's got a little delay there, right? So I wouldn't completely retire this carabiner. I would wanna go in and lubricate it somehow, probably clean it first and then lubricate it. DMM recommends using duck oil. You can contact them, figure out where you can get that through them. Um, but that is what they recommend for cleaning and lubricating their carabiners. But again, when we watch that barrel, right, it just takes that little bit longer to lock. So that could be an issue. Now when we move into the Petzl William, like I said, this thing's pretty old, so uh, it's lived a rough life. When I close this carabiner, look at that. It doesn't even close. But now, even worse, when I go to open it, it locks when I go to open it too. So we have issues going on both places. And again, that's even, when I close it like that, it slams right shut. But there's situations where we aren't always snapping our carabiner shut. Sometimes they're closing like that. This is very, very unsafe. Um, and with the fact that it's locking open and then not doing anything there and knowing the age of it, this carabiner, I would probably retire it. Um, so when you retire it, cut that thing in half or uh, you know mark it up with some red paint, only use it for um, something that's obviously not life support or just some training thing where you can show people videos like this and what to do with them. Um, but with other carabiners, if they are sticking just a little bit, especially these Petzl ones, uh, you can get some graphite from a hardware store and it's just a, a little tube of graphite. You can put it in there, dot it in there, and that usually lubricates them pretty well and you can get them back to working order. But again, we want our carabiners nice and snappy and safe. Thanks for watching.